Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we just going to see a midpoint problem. This problem is very very important. After completing it, you will be having a diagram like this. A straight line SP as its end is 10 mm in front of VP and nearer to it. The midpoint M of a line is 50 mm in front of VP and 40 mm above HV. The elevation and plan measures 100 mm and 120 mm respectively. Elevation means front view, plan means top view. They clearly given that midpoint is lying 50 mm in front of VP and 40 mm above HP. So these are the given data. I have just written whatever data we have, saw, we have seen in the question. The first step is draw a reference line XY. According to first angle progression, we will be writing VP above and HP, horizontal plane below, vertical plane above. The next step is the midpoint will be lying 40 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of VP. So from the reference line, take 40 mm, you put on line, uh, straight line, and from the reference line, take 50 mm, the distance will be 50 mm, draw a straight line. The next thing is, I just mentioned a dimension, but only after completion of your diagram, you have to show dimension. In beginning, no need to show. For your understanding, I've just marked and shown. So in this line, approximately keep any point. In this line, you can keep anywhere. Uh, C to it, it should be middle because it's midpoint, right? So keep a point here and name it as M dash. If C to it, at M dash and M should lie on the same line. You can use K and just mark a point here and write name that point as M. Uh, these are the midpoints and the midpoints will be lying at the center and both the midpoints that is uh, M dash and M will be lying on the same line. The next step is they have clearly given that uh, point S is 10 mm in front of VP. So from reference line for 10 mm you draw a line. So when you draw means you'll be getting like this. From reference line just for 10 mm you draw a line and uh, we don't know where to keep the S point. but we have an hint right that plan is to plan means stop you the top is 120 mm so take your compass uh, 120 means half of it will be 60 mm right so this is the midpoint take your compass measure 60 mm as your radius keep your compass at m and try to cut an arc on this line so you the arc will be cutting this line and there you'll be getting on point right that point is called as s and we can the distance between s and m will be 60 if you try to extend the line on for the same angle in reverse direction for 60, we can get another point. So here we get two points, right? One point will be yes, and another point will be T. Uh, so for this point, you just draw a locus, and for this point, we just draw a locus. <coughs> the next step is try to extend this yes to some distance like this, which the line should be very, very light. And we know clearly that elevation, that is front view is 100 mm, half of it will be 50 mm. Take your compass, measure 50 mm, keep your compass centered at m dash, try to cut an arc on this line. So you'll be getting a point like this. When you cut an arc, you'll be getting a point. And for that point, you just draw the locus and that point is called as S dash. In question, they have clearly given that that is one point will be lying very near to it like that. So this is that point which will be lying nearer to the reference line and uh, mark that point and name it as S dash. And uh, distance between S dash and M dash will be 50. You just try to extend it for another 50 mm so that we can easily get the front view. So when you just extend this line beyond here, the distance between M dash and T dash will be 50 mm. So distance between S dash and T dash is 100 mm. That is your front view. And S T is your 120 mm, which is nothing but top view. The next step is you just uh, you have got uh, try to rub this unwanted line and all. And finally, you got a point, right? Try to draw a locus for that point. So when you draw, we have got all the locus and you can write like locus of T dash, locus of M dash, locus of S, locus of, sorry, locus of S dash, locus of S, locus of M and locus of T. Just write all the locus. Once you write all the locus means then half of the work is done and we can easily complete the remaining diagram. The next step is uh, measure M dash, T dash as your radius. Keep your compass on M dash and M dash as center. If you rotate the arc, the arc will be cutting the locus of M dash at one point. Name that point as T2 dash and try to extend it towards the opposite locus. That is, you'll be getting on point means try to extend to the extreme. Try to extend this line 
to the extreme point. If it's T2 dash means name this point as T2. Once again, I repeat, measure M dash, T dash as your radius. Keep your compass at M dash. Try to rotate an arc. It will be cutting locus of M dash at one point. That point is called as T2 dash. Extend this point to the extreme locus. So extreme locus is locus of T. So here you will be getting one point. That point is called as T2. Just to join M T2. Just to join M T2 and try to extend that time for the same angle in the reverse direction till it touches locus of S. There you will be getting another point. That point is called as S2. Now S2 and T2 will be your true length. So whatever length you are having for here is the same for above also. But anyhow we can calculate by rotating line method itself. Now same procedure. Measure M T as your radius. M as center. Try to rotate an arc. The arc will be cutting uh, locus of M at one point, and that point is called as T1. Try to extend this point to the extreme locus. So, if, if you got a point, means try to extend it vertically towards its extreme for locus of T dash. If it's T1, means then we'll be getting T1 dash. Just to join M dash and T1 dash. Next step is just to join M dash T1 dash and try to extend in the reverse direction till it touches locus of X dash. Join M dash T1 dash, try to extend the plane for the same angle till it touches locus of S dash and name that point as S1 dash. Now S1 dash T1 dash equal to S T2 will be your true length. For both the line, you will be getting the same value. So S dash T dash will be your top front view. S dash T dash will be your front view and S T will be your top view. And whatever I said before is your true length that is S1 dash T1 dash equal to S T2 will be your true length. Now just measure the angle. So just measure the angle for your front view on uh, true length for both top and bottom. And just write whatever answer you are getting. And then uh, now of we have completed the diagram right now we will be going for dimensioning. For dimensioning just dimension only top view, front view and one true length is more than enough. So, whenever you are um, dimensioning, the extension line should be exactly perpendicular or 90 degree to the line which we dimension. And the dimensioning line should be parallel to the whatever line you are dimensioning. So, this is the extension line. For example, if I want to dimension for S dash T dash, means the extension line should be perpendicular to the S dash T dash. And dimensioning line should be parallel to that line. Uh, same thing calls good for two length as well as print view, uh, top view. And true length also do the same procedure and then just uh, the arrowhead should be 3 to 1 ratio it should be sharp pointed one try to darken the arrowhead uh, with your hb pencil extension line can be drawn with your 2h pencil and dimensioning can be done with your h pencil uh, after dimensioning here i have done one mistake actually uh, it's more than enough for dimensioning true length only once itself because true length is same but here i have just made a mistake uh, no need to dimension both the sides for the tool and any one side you just dimension uh, for tool and because tool and will be same e same for both top as well as bottom so whatever answer we are getting same answer will be getting here also and finally the height of the heading will be pro projection of lines midpoint problem the height of the text will be 10 mm and uh, subheading subheading is not so it's just put a box like this and try to write whatever values you are getting theta, alpha, phi, beta. Theta means true length inclination, alpha means front view angle, phi means true uh, length inclination, beta means uh, top view angle, and uh, S1 dash, P1 dash will be your um, no need to dimension for both the type, both the two length. It's more than enough for dimensioning one time itself. So top front view will be 100 and top view will be 120. And say to me that uh, you write your uh, at the right bottom corner, write all dimensions are in M, scale only to 1. Height of the text for this one will be 5 mm. In case we are having any doubt, means you can type in the comment section and do subscribe to my channel Mechanical Motivated. Then only you will be getting all the videos which I upload. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.